For Libby Davis, TARC 3 is the main way to get to and from important medical appointments. She says she can't miss, but ever since the pandemic started, she says what was once a reliable service is now anything but. Press 1. When Libby Davis has somewhere to be, this is what she hears. Caller number 11. I call them and they come and get me within about 30 minutes or something like that. Davis, who is diabetic, started using TARC-3 a few years ago. The bus service specifically for people with disabilities has been a reliable way to get to her appointments until recently. I've had good success. It's just been during the pandemic and after. It's just been crazy when it comes to TARC-3. Tuesday, Davis took Tark to an appointment. She tried to schedule a will call pickup, calling for a driver when her appointment ends. She's used to having to wait, but not this long. Well, that was a six hour wait in between the time I was finished and the time to be picked up. They never called me to say it was going to be that. I had to call them three times. At a Metro Council budget meeting last week, TARC's executive director, Carrie Butler, said driver shortages were to blame for delays. I can hire 100 people today. We are actively engaged in a campaign. In a statement Wednesday, Butler echoed that message, writing in part, when you are short on bus operators, it affects service. And when it affects service, unfortunately, our customers are impacted. When someone's making a reservation, you need to tell that person so they can plan accordingly. For Davis, it's too little too late. I had eaten before I left and took insulin, so I was good. But it turned out it didn't work like that. Fearing a dangerous drop in her blood sugar, she found another ride home Tuesday. They have lost my trust. And while she may turn to Tark for one-way rides, the waiting game isn't worth her life. But I will never do another will call, ever. Davis is recommending to other TARC riders that if they have an issue to report it immediately. For WHAS 11 News, I'm Grace McKenna.